President, please be seated. The court is now back in session, and I now hand over the floor to the defense team for the accused. You may proceed now, uh, counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia, to put questions to this witness. Okay. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Um, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Uh, I would like to ask you some questions this afternoon, um, some follow-up questions, and some other topics. Um, Mr. Witness, first, uh, I would like to ask you a general question about District 105. Uh, do you know approximately uh, how many people lived in District 105 in 1979? Answer. I do not know how many people lived in District 105 after 1979. I do not know. Sorry. Do you know how many people approximately Question lived in District 105 um, in 1975? Answer, I uh, do not know either. It's difficult, I understand, to, to make an estimate, but would it be possible that in 1979 roughly 80,000 people lived in uh, Tramcock District, District 105? Answer. I am not sure. Je ne sais pas but uh, perhaps je ne suis pas uh, certain, mais the number that you mentioned, it is the number that you mentioned. Um, Mr. Witness, do you know le témoin, what mortality rate means? Have you ever used that de mortalité? Avez -vous jamais entendu uh, in your time in DK or afterwards, the word mortality rate doesn't mean anything to you. Mortality rate means something. The mortality rate refers to the number of people who died. Correct, uh, Mr. Mr. Witness. Do you know uh, what the mortality rate was in Tramcock District in 1975? In other words, do you know how many people died every year in um, Tramcock District in 1975 and the years before? Answer, Réponse. I do not know. Je ne sais pas. Um, uh, Mr. Witness, do you know what the mortality rate was? In other words, how many people died per 100,000 um, in the year 76, 77, 78, 79? Answer. I do not know either. Um, would you be able to tell us um, if, in other words, there was a difference 
uh, immortality rate between the years 75 and 79 and the years before, are you able somehow to tell uh, whether more or less people died in Tramcock district before 1975? Answer. I uh, do not know. I am not able to do so, and I do not uh, think uh, of uh, the deaths of people. Mr. Witness, do you know more concretely how many people died of dysentria, dysentria before 1975 in Tramcock district? In Tramcock. But answer. Réponse. Before 1975, I uh, was not aware of it. Je ne but later, pas. after 1975, après, I did not know the number of people who died because of uh, dysentery. Um, do you know question. the number of people who died of dysentery uh, after 1979? But answer, I do not know. Je ne sais pas. Do you know, Mr. Witness, how many people died on average before 75 because of malaria? President, Mr. Wiener, you do not need to Monsieur give Témoin, your response. Uh, the question is repetitious, and uh, you are not an expert. Et your response you made are clear already about uh, the people who died of the diseases. You are not an expert. You are not instructed. You are instructed to not to give your response. Well, I'm sure, Mr. President, that it is understandable why I asked these questions, because I think uh, what was happening before the lunch break, uh, possibly, maybe I'm wrong, that all kinds of inferences uh, were drawn or might possibly be drawn from anecdotal evidence on deaths um, in Trumpcock District. So I'm trying to figure out if this witness, uh, because he was working in the medical sector, uh, would know anything about cette personne qui uh, these kinds of general things. So I think I should be able to ask uh, uh, these very basic questions without really going into detail. So I suppose I that I that the president, president, you are not allowed to put such questions. The response de from the witness are already clear. He does not know. The chamber needs to hear the relevant answers to ascertain the truth. Um, very well, I'll move to another line of questioning, but in relation to the same subject, by reading a passage from um, the statement of this of, of you, Mr. Witness, to uh, DC Chem, that is. Uh, D313 uh, uh, slash 1.2.410 um, English ERN 0077-8947 my 0041877 and French 0075-2110 and, um, Mr. Witness, the Monsieur interviewer Témoin, of DCCAM is asking you uh, uh, the following question. It's on top of the page in English. Did you speak about the differences between medical professionals in the old society 
and the developing medical professionals? Uh, and your answer is no. Medical skills were the same, not different. Um, my question to you is, am I to understand your testimony to the CECAM that according to you there was no difference in uh, medical skills before April 75 and after April 75? Answer, yes, you are right. Réponse, vous avez raison. Um, what can you tell us about differences in uh, practices? Question, et que pouvez-vous nous dire um, s'agissant des pratiques? Il y such des as uh, giving pratiques, injections uh, and all kinds of other treatments. Um, ou de tout autre type de traitement. It's the same true here. There were no differences in treatment by medical personnel before 1975 and after 1975. Les mêmes pratiques, du même niveau. Answer. As for medics, they had the same the Le personnel soignant, les médecins, treatments. Before their time and after their time, if uh, people had headaches, they si would be administered, uh, aspirin would be administered uh, to the patient uh, before 1975 and after their time. Et après 1975 and, and what is your knowledge, what is the, the source of your knowledge? Um, when you say that there weren't any differences in practices between medical practices between 70, before 75 and after 1975? I stated as you said because the medical book or manuals de médecine ou les livres lay out de médecine, uh, the same uh, the same procedures that uh, I uh, spoke of I spoke of and uh, but uh, they tôt. differentiate between the uh, levels of a treatment différence entre les niveaux de traitement um, thank you, Mr. Witness. What can you tell us about uh, the level of education in uh, the sector hospital? Um, what do you know um, about the training of the nurses and the doctors in the sector hospital? In the sector, I uh, was not aware of any trainings. Je ne savais rien de la formation au niveau du secteur. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, Je vous remercie, Monsieur le témoin. Do you know whether, si whether um, the doctors and the nurses um, used also traditional medicine in the hospitals before 1975? Answer. Before 1975, they used uh, traditional medicines, uh, but uh, they used uh, such medicine very little. Before 1975, there were uh, many uh, modern medicines. And how do you know that? President, please hold on, Mr. Witness. Witness, I myself and I had uh, relatives around me when uh, they got sick, they would uh, use a little uh, traditional medicine and they rather resorted to modern uh, medicine. There were pharmacies and they could go there and buy. Do you know if there was a difference um, in treatment before 1975 of people who had money 
and people who didn't have money uh, and couldn't afford modern medicine. Answer from what I knew, the poor before 1975, they went to hospital and hospital did not charge uh, the patient although they were poor or they perhaps uh, were charged a very little amount of money. And as for the rich, uh, uh, the hospital would charge uh, uh, money as well. But how do you know that? Is it, is it because that somebody told you, or is it your own experience? I was in I was living in the village. When the villagers were sick, they Lorsque went les to hospital. Malades, and the most poor, les plus pauvres, the hospital would uh, seek uh, the letter certifying that uh, they were the most poor. And if uh, the hospital got the letter, the hospital would not si uh, get any money from the most poor. Pauvres, alors elles ne leur and the most uh, poor rien. would uh, pay only little amount of money for a drugs of medicines. Um, very well, Mr. Mr. Witness, I will move on to um, another subject within um, the practice of medicine in the DK period. In your statement to uh, DC Chem, that is um, D313 slash 1.2.409, on English uh, ERN, it's page 12, uh, 00729033. Uh, and uh, Khmer 00418817. You testified to the uh, researcher of DC Chem vous avez dit that, generally speaking, que de façon générale, uh, malnutrition and dysentery led to five deaths per day uh, in the last period. Ms. Uh, Witness, also in your other statements, you talk about uh, dysentery. dysentery. Uh, would you be able to tell us um, what the cause is of people who were suffering dysentery when you were treating them? How did they get this disease? Answer. I knew that people did not have enough food to eat. They suffered from malnutrition. They uh, performed uh, too much hard labor. And after that, force, after a while, they contracted temps, uh, dysentery and uh, they died. Malade, we could not uh, use uh, medicines to cure them because of uh, such dysentery. Um, Mr. Witness, why are you saying that the reason that people dysentery uh, 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 get is uh, uh, malnutrition? Are you sure that that is the que cause la for this disease? La malnutrition, êtes-vous certain que c'est la bien la Could cause also, de um, la dysenterie? Ne pourrait-ce pas être bacteria or other um, microbes within the water rather than the result of malnutrition? But mula hai thum chieng ke ku kwa. The, uh -huh, body the main reason was La raison relating to the uh, lack of food in, to eat and too much hard labor. Alimentaire et au travail trop dur. The patient could perhaps they add uh, very little of uh, porridge for a p two months or for a few months and they Les suffered a disease. De trop peu Who told you or where did you read that that was the cause of dysenteria?
บัตรสลับโดยสารจุงเนื้อเรียนนี่อ่อนหนาแบบน้อง People died of the century. No one told me. I was at the hospital. The patient, the inpatient in the hospital, they got a swelling and they died afterward. Not only five people died at that time. Ten or more than that died, and the relatives of the patient would be called to bring the dead back. So it's it's. Do I understand correctly? It's what your patients told you that make you say that. Malnutrition is in fact the cause of dysentery. Is that what you're saying? Mr. Witness, I heard you, Mr. Witness. I heard you say "ba." Did you say yes? Avez-vous répondu oui? Demande Maître Copé. Ba. Answer yes. Réponse oui. Would you be surprised if I tell you malnutrition has nothing to do with dysentery? Or seriez-vous surpris si je vous apprenais que la dysenterie n'a rien à voir avec la malnutrition? Ou cela vous paraîtrait-il normal? I withdraw the question, Mr. Mr. Je retire cette question. Mr. Witness, do you know anything about plans within the DK regime to have proper irrigation canals and to make sure that the water was clean? Do you know anything about that? Answer yes. I know about it and I participated in building dams and digging canals and also dig wells for people. Do you know also about plans to have as much clean water as possible within Tramcock district? Answer. Are you asking me about this time period, or you were referring to you are referring to the period back in 1975? I'm referring specifically to the period between 75 and 79. Je parle précisément de la période entre 75 et 79. Colon. Answer. In that period, people. At that time, là. Had clean water. There were wells and ponds. Les gens avaient de l'eau propre. Il y avait des puits et il y avait. And there were also irrigation system to keep water for cattle to drink. And do you know what what the aim was to have clean water within the district? Do you know why the DK regime? Was keen on getting clean water within the district. Beaucoup sur la salubrité de l'eau dans le district. Answer. I know about it. Réponse. Je sais. They wanted to have a clean water so that the water can be used to to farms. Utilisé dans l'agriculture. I know about it. Oui, je sais tout cela. Have you also heard anything about the relationship between clean water and the eradication of dysentery, or you never heard that? Ou n'avez-vous jamais entendu parler de cela? Bat lang. 
Answer. I know about it. All people went to work in the canal work site. They were in the work sites. So they would relieve themselves wherever they can on the ground. And when there were rains, et pleuvait, uh, it caused uh, a problem. And people, particularly de workers, they uh, would relieve themselves near the ponds and also mains, uh, the irrigation system. There were no proper toilets. Many people uh, were working in the work sites they were from villages, and perhaps the dysenteries uh, resulted from the, the, uh, the discrement which were relieved uh, near ponds and uh, lakes. President, court officer, please uh, move uh, the microphone a little bit uh, close to the witness. You may proceed now, Mr. Coppe. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, do you remember where your hospital uh, buried the people uh, who had died in your hospital, or did, they, did you cremate them? But Mian answer. You to cop, clap dot. Some réponse. people who died uh, were cremated and some Certaines were buried. And uh, the relative would bring enterré. back home the ashes. Ensuite, and as for though the patient who died and their relative lived Et far away from the hospital, they, de the bodies would be buried uh, in corps, the compound nearby. Do you, do you know? Could, could you be? Uh, could you describe a little bit more the compound where these uh, bodies were buried? How, how far was that from the hospital? Ce, cette enceinte, à quelle distance de l'hôpital les corps étaient-ils enterrés? Mal. Answer: The Réponse. compound for burying uh, the bodies, the dead bodies was about one kilometer Le away from the hospital itself. Um, and Mais did I understand you correctly that the hospital itself was about six kilometers away from Krangtachan? It could be uh, more than oh, six kilometers as it was uh, rather far. Plus, parce que assez loin. Um, do you know, uh, Mr. Maître Witness, Coppe, where témoin, Hospital 22 où, où se trouvait, um, buried ou plutôt, où um, the physical remains of dead people? Les dépouilles des personnes qui étaient mortes. No, I did not. Réponse, non, je ne sais pas. Even uh, myself, I dare not uh, enter that hospital. Moi-même, je n'osais pas entrer dans cet hôpital. Mr. Witness, do you remember Question. something about the Monsieur treatment témoin. of malaria in your hospital? Vous souvenez-vous de quoi que ce soit à propos du pal paludisme dans votre hôpital? Yes, I recall of some, but uh, not oui. all, because it's been so many years already. Je me souviens de certains patients, mais pas de tous, car cela treatment. remonte à pas mal de temps. Je me souviens un peu du traitement, oui. But in general, were you able to Question. successfully treat en général, people vous dire who had entered the hospital uh, for malaria? Vous parveniez à traiter les personnes were qui étaient admises à l'hôpital pour cause de paludisme. Ces remember? patients étaient-ils guéris ou pas? Vous en souvenez-vous? In fact, uh, the treatment of malaria at my hospital Au sein was de mon hôpital, not uh, 
fully successful as not uh, nous ne pas bien à soigner les as patients not all patients could be treated nous ne pouvions pas and for those people who could not be treated i would uh, refer them to the sector hospital étaient renvoyés à l'hôpital du secteur But would you be able to, to, to give a percentage? Did, did most people who were sent to your hospital for malaria were successfully treated by you? For paludism, who were well treated or who were treated with success? For malaria. And for those patients who contracted malaria and who were sent to the Les sector hospital, de paludisme qui étaient envoyés à most of them du secteur, uh, survived or were uh, fully recovered. Et se um, I would like to ask you a few questions Question. about the spraying of uh, DDT de la in um, Krang Tachan. Did you ever uh, do the spraying in the hospital? Avez-vous um, procédé à happen? des pulvérisations à l'hôpital également ou pas I did not spray in the, uh, non, je n'ai pas effectué de pulvérisation à l'hôpital. Uh, L'hôpital uh, se trouvait dans les champs. Il n'était pas près d'une forêt. Do you remember Question. The exact, um, vous vous souvenez-vous or, or the wording of the request uh, made termes. by dans lesquelles la demande a été formulée par le bureau uh, du district de 105 DDT, uh, lorsqu'il vous a été demandé de pulvériser du DDT. Savez-vous ce qu'Anne vous a demandé Savez-vous ce qui vous a été demandé concrètement lorsqu'on vous a demandé de vous rendre à Krang Tachan On the issue of the request, and let me clarify again, the request was not demande, made by Anne, je dois que but ce pas it was made Anne by the district formulé. secretary le secrétaire du for us to use DT spray at the Kantachan. From my understanding, uh, Anne made the request to the uh, district uh, secretary, and the district secretary, secretary district made the request uh, subsequently to us. What was, the, what was the concern Question. of the district? Um, Mais quelles étaient les préoccupations what was the du district? That led them to ask you to spray with DDT les ont uh, à vous what demander d'aller pulvériser of? du DDT à Krang Tachan. De quoi avaient-ils peur? Réponse. In fact, I was not sure about the concern by the district secretary. But of course, we received instructions from the district, and we had to act quickly. However, we were told to use the DTT spray to kill mosquitoes at where the bushes or forests, the forests were, in order to kill the mosquitoes there and to eliminate malaria. And do you know whether prisoners um, profited? Savez-vous si well cela a été bénéfique pour DDT? les prisonniers Si la pulvérisation de DDT a été bénéfique pour les prisonniers well, I was Réponse. A staff of the hospital. It was uh, difficult for me uh, to say regarding the effectiveness of the uh, DDT si DDT because, as we could see, uh, we were 
in started to spray DDT at the forest or uh, near the bushes nearby and not at where the prisoners were detained. So the mosquitoes would uh, flee from the forest or the bushes into the buildings where the prisoners stayed. Um, I'm not sure if I understand. Um, then those same mosquitoes would also um, in fact, the guards, or in fact, um, the cadres who were working there. I'm not sure if mosquitoes make any distinction between various people. So could you explain that again? From what I learned, that is through a medical lesson, malaria la formation médicale que is suivi, infected as a result of a mosquito bite. Lorsque est piqué par un when a female mosquito bites you, then you vous pique, are infected, vous infected by that uh, malaria virus. Le virus du paludisme. And only the female mosquitoes carry the virus for malaria. De, du Correct, but mosquitoes don't make Question. any distinction between exact, prisoners and guards or cadres, do they? Les cadres, pas? Of course, uh, that is true. Réponse, oui, bien sûr, c'est exact. But you were making the Question. distinction. Do, can you tell us why you made that distinction? Vous, vous avez fait la différence. Pourquoi? Pourriez-vous nous dire pourquoi? No, I did not make any Réponse, distinction. Non, je pas fait la if uh, mosquitoes beat prisoners, uh, prisoners would le, get uh, si malaria. Uh, if uh, mosquitoes beat us, then we would also get uh, malaria. Même chose pour les so spraying of DTT Question. would profit everybody la in Kantachan, including the prisoners, donc correct? Être bénéfique pour tout le monde, y compris les prisonniers, n'est-ce pas? Yes, that is correct. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. Um, I'm asking you this question, question. because in your Je statement, uh, your testimony to the investigators, E319.1.21, um, in answer 124, you answer as follows. The question is, your estimate of the number of prisoners held in Krang Tachan prison was based on the number of the buildings. Is that correct? And then you answer, yes, that is correct. The Khmer Rouge detained those people and starved them to death. Um, the question is, if it was their intention to starve the prisoners to death, then why ask you uh, to spray DDT? affamer les prisonniers pour qu'ils meurent, pourquoi vous aurait-il demandé de pulvériser du DDT In fact, Réponse. The spray of uh, DDT was not uh, related to the condition de of the prisoners. If uh, prisoners were deprived of food, that si was uh, a different matter. Affamés, autre chose. And uh, from what I could see, maybe at that time, Mais because there, there was a shortage of rice, D'après ce que j'ai pu voir, on manquait de riz à l'époque. Et lorsque j'étais là-bas, j'ai constaté qu'il n'y avait pas de riz dans la cuisine. J'étais là pour une heure et quart, et quand on a rempli un bac de DDT, on a rempli un bac de DDT. Et quand on a rempli un bac de DDT, on a rempli un bac de DDT. Et quand on a rempli un bac de DDT, on a rempli un bac de DDT. Monsieur le témoin. You told the investigator, and I just Vous quoted that to you, that prisoners were starved to death at Krang Tachan. Um, you also 
gave testimony Vous avez that um, you, th you thought that many people died at Krangtachan. Did you ever yourself vous -même send or have somebody send to Krangtachan? No, I never did that. Non, je ne jamais fait. However, toward the later part of the regime, Mais vers la fin du régime uh, a militia from the district des came to the hospital and took away a female medical staff. And when I went to spread DDT at Kantachan, I saw her there. Du DDT à Kantachan, je l'ai vu là-bas. Uh, Mr. Mr. Witness, let me read a, 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 an excerpt from your uh, DC CAM statement uh, back to you. That's uh, D313 slash 1.2.409, English on page 22, ERN 0072 you are asked a question by the DC CAM investigator, Mr. Witness, and the question is, was there any punishment for moral misconduct? And you, you answer, there was punishment. I sacked medical et staffers and took a medical staffer to be put in Krangtachan prison, whose name I forget, and who is living in two local villages today. Question, did you know how someone was tortured for such moral misconduct? I didn't know. She was taken to cook rice in the prison. Vous avez répondu également que maybe there's something went wrong with the translation, but here this document, your statement seems to suggest that it was you yourself who decided to send somebody to Krang Tachan. Is that correct or is that false? No, that is not correct. Réponse, non, I never exact. sent anyone there. I was not aware of her presence there. Je pas because when I uh, returned to the hospital, en I fait, was told that uh, Neri Han, that is the female staffer, had been Han, taken away. Cette femme avait été so this female... Question. Staffer uh, who is living in Tulroka village. Is that Neri Ham? Yes, her name is uh, Han, Neri Han. Oui, Han. Um, I, I believe you were asked this question before, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, do you, you know whether she was released uh, si before the Vietnamese invaded uh, Kampuchea? No, I was not aware of that. Non, je ne sais pas. And only after 1979. She came to my house. Ce n'est qu'après 1979 qu'elle est venue chez and moi. And when I asked her about that, uh, she said she demandé, also fled from Kandachan prison, but later on she returned Chan Chan to the village. Et était rentrée dans son village par la suite. Her house or her native village was not in Dakai province, son and I, did, pas I don't know where she has gone to. Je ne sais pas où elle est allée. So you saw her Question. after 1979, and then she told you she had fled, or she had escaped Krang Tachan. Would that mean that she was detained up until the very end of uh, 1978, beginning of 1979? Yes, uh, that is correct. Oui, um, do you know Question. where she is now, today? Où elle vit à actuelle? Bah. No, I don't. Non, je ne sais pas. I haven't uh, seen her, and as you can see, uh, I am very old uh, with uh, poor health condition. 
and I don't go uh, uh, anywhere is far. Mauvaise, donc je ne me and pas from très what I know, her uh, native village is not in uh, Takao, maybe in the Kampung Chang province. Um, do you know any family of her? Question. Um, Connaissez-vous any relatives ses parents, ses proches, who will be able uh, to tell if she's still alive today? Qui pourrait vous dire si elle est encore en vie à l'heure actuelle ou pas? Bye. No, I don't. Réponse non. Did she ever speak to you Question. about her treatment Vous a-t-elle jamais parlé in uh, Krang Tachan? De la façon dont elle a été traitée à Krang Tachan. No, she did not. Réponse non. Elle ne l'a pas fait. When she came to see me, he, she, me voir, it was for a short period of time, and then she uh, returned on her bicycle. Ensuite, son In vélo. fact, she came to me to ask for some rice, en and fait, after I gave her rice, uh, she took the rice and she left her on her bicycle. Coming back to um, the reason for her Question. arrest, Je reviens aux raisons motifs de sa détention Krang à Krang Tachan. What was the reason um, for her arrest? Savez-vous pour quelle raison elle a was été arrêtée? in the network A-t-elle été accusée d'avoir fait partie du réseau de Kang? When she was brought Réponse. to the to my hospital to work there, I thought Lorsque she was a sent from hospital 22 to come and to assist us. However, of, however, after her arrest, après son arrestation, I was told that uh, Mary Han was implicated Han uh, along with uh, the call from, uh, from Hospital 22, and that's all I know. Voilà tout ce que je sais. But imp implicated Question. for what reason? What did uh, Kang uh, and others such as uh, Han do? What, the, what, what was their crime? Do you know? Savez-vous ce qu'ils faisaient? No, I Réponse. don't. Non, je ne sais pas. Um, Question. So you never heard anything Vous about her alleged activities. Donc Nothing jamais entendu whatsoever. parler de ses prétendues activités. Yes, that is correct. Réponse est exacte. Um, Question. Mr. Reddit, do you know who Monsieur Sat témoin. is and who Dong qui is? Savez-vous qui est Sat et qui est Dong? No, the names uh, do not ring a bell. Non, ces noms ne me disent rien. Um, you, sp you spoke in your statements about uh, a man from Hanoi who you also saw in Krang Tachan when you were spraying DDT. Uh, you called him Ta Hanoi. Ta Hanoi and Dong, could that be the same person? Vous l'avez appelé Ta Hanoi. Ta Hanoi et Dong, pouvaient-ils être la même personne? No. Ta Hanoi's name Ta Hanoi. was Jia. As for the Avec later name, I uh, did not recognize. Je ne reconnais pas l'autre nom que vous avez cité. Um, thank you, Mr. Witness. I will move Question. on Merci, um, le to another topic. I might come back uh, after the break, but I, for now, I would like to move to another pause, subject. Um, and that is. Il 
the following. Mr. President, I would like to Monsieur read an excerpt from a statement of a witness que that lire is, au témoin. Um, document e document E277-7.7.1 uh, English ERN en anglais Mr. Witness, this is uh, a statement from uh, a cadre in the southwest zone. And um, um, he is asking, so he's, he's answering questions, and I would like to read to you the questions and his answers, and then I would like to ask you a reaction. In answer A5, the question is as follows. Enfin, la question est la suivante. Um, as the Kampong Sve commune chief, did you receive an order de from de the upper Kampong echelon Sve. to arrest people? Un ordre a-t-il été donné de l'échelon supérieur pour arrêter des gens? As part of the Kampong Sve commune committee, I did not wish to harm anyone who did something wrong. But the commune level had the right to report to the upper echelon. I had rights to report uh, to the upper echelon. For example, when people did not have enough rice to eat and when they produced only two tons of rice per hectare. With this regard, Grandma, Grandfather Mok issued an order that the commune, district and sector levels did not have the authority to make arrests or kill people. Question. Grandfather Mock said that, this, said that the district and sector levels did not have the authority to kill people. Why were many people killed in the district and sector? Answer, I, do, I did not know either about the implementation, but I rem recall Grandfather Mock's remarks clearly. Question, uh, question 9. When did Grandfather Mock make this Quand announcement? And how comes the answer that I am very interested in confronting uh, you with? Uh, the answer is Grandfather Mock uh, made this announcement prior to 1975 during a wrap-up meeting held annually in forest, participated by the commune, district and provincial committees and the regiments. After 1975, there was another meeting in the provincial town of Takeo in the presence of Grandfather Mock and Som, who was uh, in the Sector 13 Committee. Som, chef de la uh, 13, uh, they announced that soldiers with the ranks from second lieutenant to colonel were not to be harmed. Question, you meant that colonel. soldiers from the rank of second lieutenant to colonel were not arrested? I did not know because the implementation was very from sector to sector. My question, Mr. Witness, uh, did you participate or attend a meeting in Takeo after 1975 where it was announced that soldiers with the ranks from second lieutenant to colonel were not to be harmed. Et au cours de laquelle on aurait dit qu'il était interdit de toucher aux soldats de l'Onnon à partir du grade de sous-lieutenant jusqu'à celui de colonel. I did not attend uh, the meeting which was held in Takeo. However. I knew that Cela dit, at the commune su and district levels, au niveau des districts et des communes, they held a similar meeting une telle réunion avait eu lieu, in which they announced that for the people who réunion, were evacuated from Phnom Penh, Phnom Penh and as for the rank uh, in the military from adjutant and up had to be purged and as for the uh, people working in the administration it was from the deputy chief um, i know that it was your, your your testimony and i will come back to that meeting um, 
but did you ever hear in other in any other way avez -vous uh, within the southwest zone uh, that officers higher than second lieutenant were not to be touched zone sud-ouest il ne fallait pas toucher aux soldats à partir du grade de sous-lieutenant en avez-vous entendu parler par d'autres moyens I uh, already stated what I knew. J'ai déjà dit ce que je savais. Uh, for the soldiers from the rank of uh, adjutant and adjutant qu'il fallait qu'ils soient purgés et pour ceux qui étaient fonctionnaires from the first était deputy partie, chief. À partir they all had to be purged. Du grade du rang d'assistant au maire. Um, Mr. Witness, you uh, gave a statement to Question. the investigators, that is A3-551 in question 9. Dans le um, e and you talk about a, a meeting where this was announced. À um, réunion. Yesterday you answered a question from uh, the prosecutor that you believe the meeting was somewhere in 1977. In your answer A9, um, la question 9. You are saying um, that a meeting where these purges Vous were announced was in fact held before the evacuation. Au cours de laquelle on avait annoncé uh, can you give us some clarification as to um, the date of the meetings that you attended? Is your testimony that there was also such a meeting before the evacuation in 1975. I cannot recall the date, Réponse. but I recall the content of the meeting, and I already, I already told you about that content. Um, but it is important for me to understand um, the date Question. of the meeting. Mais Yesterday, you gave testimony that seemed to indicate that such a meeting was held uh, sometime in the spring of 1977. Was there also a meeting in which it was announced that people were to be purged before the evacuation of Phnom Penh in April 1975? President, uh, Mr. Witness, please wait, and Le the President international Anastan, deputy co-prosecutor, you can proceed. Uh, yes, just a, a uh, objection. Um, counsel is, I, I believe, slightly misstating the testimony. The testimony of the witness, at least as I recall, was that the meeting was before April 1977. He didn't specify uh, the exact month or time. Uh, the question I asked was, was, the, was it before or after April 77? He said before. So I don't think he testified uh, with any certainty as to the month or year. The way the questions were, f were framed, uh, Mr. President, I understood the witness Maître to Copé. basically confirm uh, Président, the question which I called leading, that it was indeed uh, just prior to uh, 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 April 77 or May 77. But I will ask uh, the witness uh, specific April, question. 1977, Yesterday, Mr. Witness, mais pour you were uh, given testimony Hier, as to the meeting vous avez parlé to which uh, for instance, Tachim attended, uh, in avait which instructions were given that uh, uh, former Lono uh, soldiers uh, from selon uh, les adjutant de up were to be purged. You said that it was before uh, March, dit, April 77. Can you tell us avant mars ou avril how long before? Was it weeks before, or months before, si or even mois years avant, before? Plusieurs mois avant, ou plusieurs années avant? I cannot recall it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. I only uh, knew uh, about the meeting, but I did not recall the date. Je me souviens de la réunion, mais je ne me souviens pas de la date à laquelle elle a eu lieu. 
I understand, Mr. Witness, that it is difficult to remember an exact date or a week or even a month, but surely you can tell us if it was before uh, the evacuation of Phnom Penh and the liberation of the country in April 1975 or two years after. It was before the evacuation of people from Phnom Penh. In particular, during the time that the people were being evacuated. So to be absolutely clear, that, uh, that you gave testimony yesterday as to the meeting, for instance, to which Tachim uh, attended, uh, and you're saying now that this meeting was held uh, before the evacuation, correct? But answer, yes, that is correct. Can you tell us what the reason was that you were attending this meeting? What position was it that you had um, that gave you, would, would give you the authority um, to attend such a meeting? Answer. The meetings were held later on. Se sont tenus plus tard. While I was part of the hospital, I was the representative in the meeting with commune chiefs, village chiefs, des chefs de village et des chefs de commune. And uh, I was not advised at that time. On ne conseillait pas Only à l'époque. The commune and villages Seul were warned and advised uh, because uh, they were the ones who received people. For me, I uh, received only uh, the patient who went to the hospital to fetch uh, medicine and drugs. Um, Mr. Witness, I, un I understand it's, it's a long time ago. Um, but I would like to ask you if that is possible to, to try to remember um, this meeting, the date of this meeting, and particularly why it was that you were attending. What was your authority within the structure, the, the reason why you were attending? Okay. President, please hold on, Mr. Winnet. You may now proceed, Deputy International Co-Prosecutor. I think that's the exact same question he just asked and the witness answered, um, which is that he was there in his role as uh, representative of the hospital. So I think the question is repetitive. It might be repetitive, but... Um, there's no absolute prohibition to ask uh, the same question in a different way in order to elicit uh, some answer. Because much like President, uh, please do not give your response, Mr. Winnes. This is a repetitive question. I have the right to, to prohibit the witness from giving any response which cannot lead to ascertain the truth. Um, very well, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, how many people were Maître present Cope, at this meeting? Témoin, combien de personnes ont participé à cette réunion? Madam. Answer. Réponse. There were all village and commune chiefs there in the meeting, and I was the representative of uh, my hospital et le de and uh, cadres uh, from uh, various uh, offices uh, were all de there in the meeting. But when, it's come, when it came to the advice concerning Mais the purge, and only village Purges, commune chief militia in the commune and villages were warned and advised about that. I was not warned as for the uh, 
hospital uh, personnel. Um, my question was, do you remember how many? Were there 10 people, 20 people, 50 people, 100 people? 20 people, 30 people, 50 people, 100 people? But answer. Réponse. I uh, did not count the numbers at that time. At that meeting, there was no list of attendance, and uh, we were asked uh, whether we were all there. And after that, the meeting started. There were no list of attendance. Who was presiding the meeting? But answer Tajem presided Réponse, over the meeting. He was the district secretary at that time. And who was, were there any people sitting next to him while Et he was presiding? Answer. No one was sitting close to the district committee because we were afraid of the district committee like a tiger. Um, when the meeting was held, was Takio provincial town Already liberated or not yet? Answer. During that meeting, uh, I uh, did not recall it. It appears that uh, Takao, this provincial town, was not yet uh, liberated. There were two meetings on different on two occasions. And I only knew that uh, people from Takao came to live in Tapum. There was a meeting for those people at that time. I was not there in the meeting. People had already arrived uh, at uh, Champa Pagoda, and the uh, people were selected uh, for those who were the first deputy, uh, who became uh, the first deputy, and those who uh, has who had uh, the rank of colonel, they would be reinstated. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I follow everything, Mr. Witness, but um, do you remember when exactly Takeo Provincial Town fell? Answer. I do not recall it. It is a long time ago. President, thank you, Mr. Council. It is now time for break. And uh, we will take a short break from now until 3 o'clock. Court observe, please facilitate a proper room for this witness and for the duty council and have uh, this witness returned together with the duty council into the courtroom at 3 o'clock. The court is now adjourned.